I got involved with the Erasmus program um, in the sense that it was part of our yearly classes to make a piece for the program but in terms of applying for the trip um, it was one of the first times that I felt actually eligible for something which was really exciting um, and our tutors were really diligent in making sure that anybody who wanted to apply whether they were comfortable saying it in the classroom or not um, had an application and had a fair chance which was really really nice. So traveling for my studies was so exciting. One, it was really cool because I got to go to Milan, which is a place I don't think I otherwise would have really had the ability to go to. Um, and secondly, it was amazing because I met loads of new people who were also studying jewelry. So there was loads to talk about in common. Um, got to tour really exciting facilities and take part in um, demonstrations that I wouldn't have been able to otherwise um, because we went to uh, a place with really amazing equipment. Um, all in all, it's, it's a really different experience to traveling just for traveling's sake because we got loads of opportunities we wouldn't have otherwise. Um, going to Milan, we got to go to the Bulgari workshops, which was a massive deal because we were the first people to ever go there and absolutely would not have been possible without BAJ and Erasmus. Um, so yeah, it's a really incredible opportunity. While I was in Italy, um, I got to learn loads of new skills. Um, we got to do a sort of brief stone setting class, um, which otherwise would have been very expensive. Um, we got to try microfusions, so um, filling wax moulds um, with hot wax and then watching them get cast in their on-site casting. Um, and we also got to learn loads about the culture out there in um, Alexandria and Milan and what it's like to be a jeweller out there, um, what opportunities they are and what further options there were if we wanted to go and study in Italy. My favourite memory from the Erasmus programme um, is probably getting to try um, stone carving and forming my own cabochon stone um, and also actually making really strong friendships with a lot of the people out there. Um, I'm still in touch with all the people from BAJ that I went with and also loads of the people that I met out there from Portugal and Greece and Italy, which is really amazing. And it's really nice to keep in touch with them and find out what they're doing. Um, and also to have the little pieces, like I have the glass cabochon that I made upstairs sat on my dresser, which I hope to do something with eventually, but it's also just a really lovely reminder of the time I had there. I feel that the program helped me develop um, in my jewelry making, partially in that in making the piece in college for the program, um, it really pushed me um, creatively and technically to make something exciting and interesting. Um, especially then going out to Milan and seeing everybody's pieces from all the colleges um, was a fantastic exercise and seeing how everybody looked at the brief differently and all the amazing sort of technical routes you take and definitely gave me inspiration for this year's making. Taking part in the programme has definitely influenced my aesthetics, um, I think in a lot of ways. Partially having seen all the incredible things that they were doing out in the jewellery school in Milan and um, how um, I think being exposed to how other people use the same techniques that you've learned really changes how you view those techniques and how you can push boundaries, um, which is exciting. Um, and also because if, if you take it seriously and you make something that really shows off everything you can do um, during the, the creative challenge, because it's, it's one of few challenges when you're making a piece where you've actually got a lot of freedom in exactly what you do, which doesn't feel like an opportunity that you'll necessarily get after studies are over. Um, and I feel like if you really take that seriously and you really take it to heart and push yourself on what you can make, you'll become so much more confident in actually what you can do. And I feel like because of these opportunities, 
I'm actually making work now that's much stronger than it would have been without that, without knowing effectively what I can do if I really, really, really push myself to it. Um, so taking part in the Erasmus program has really um, further influenced my views on sustainability in the jewellery industry. Um, this is an industry which can be so wasteful um, and seeing the importance of um, using things like recycled metals where possible, um, using new and different materials, um, things like wood or um, sea glass or anything else that you can find beauty in as opposed to um, materials that can have really dark pasts um, like for example jade mining um, for the jadeite finding new and in innovative ways to keep jewelry exciting without furthering exploitation of people or the planet um, can be a really nice challenge and doesn't have to sacrifice any of the aesthetic beauty So meeting jewellers, both students and tutors, um, from different places and cultures um, has influenced my own work in quite a lot of ways, partially because it's, it's really nice to understand different people's cultural disciplines um, and how different backgrounds affect how people see jewellery and the work and the creation and the design process. Um, it's, it's really lovely and it's really interesting. It's one of the things I value about BI, uh, BAJ is that so many of our tutors come from different parts of Europe and have different perspectives. Um, but it's so much more amplified when you get to go to another place and pair with all the different schools. Um, and it has a really nice effect on your own work because again, it, it just sort of opens your eyes to all the different ways that you can do things. Um, I think it's quite easy when you've been taught to do something a specific way to keep doing it that exact way until somebody else comes and tells you there is another way. And it's, it's nice to sort of all of a sudden be hit with all these different perspectives and be able to really mull on what you feel is important. I think that's one of the nicest parts is just the mutual feeling of everybody's here to, to understand jewellery in a better way and you all leave having really impacted each other, um, which feels really special. To anybody who's interested in the Erasmus program, um, I would say apply, absolutely apply. There is nothing to lose by filling out the sheet. Um, be honest in your application. Um, I think the reason why I was accepted was because I talked about, you know, how this is an opportunity that I wouldn't otherwise have, but I'm really passionate about. Um, and I think if, if you can express that, it shows. Um, but oh my God, there is nothing to lose and everything to gain. Um, there's 99% there's of the times of the, 99% um, of the time there's a way to make the opportunity work. Um, and it really is once in a lifetime. Um, it's so worth it. <laughs> I'm a very anxious person um, and I definitely let that anxiety put me off applying in previous years that I've been at the college. Um, but the whole experience is so well put together. Um, everybody that I was with from BHA was lovely and everybody that I met from the other colleges was lovely because we all just have this common goal of wanting to make the most out of this experience. Um, we were put up in a really nice hotel, um, given really nice food, um, the whole thing, because, oh my God, thankfully it's all covered by the EU, is so affordable and easy and I've genuinely made friends for life. Um, yeah, don't let anxiety about what it could be put you off from experiencing the whole thing. Meeting everyone from all the different colleges was, was so lovely. Um, it was really nice finding the initial common ground in who spoke a lot of English, um, who spoke languages that others of us could speak little snippets of. Um, and then 
you know, what was life like back at home, what their college was like, what they were learning, what they wanted to do. Um, by the end of the first night, we were all sat in a restaurant playing Uno together. Um, and it was just so lovely. Um, I in particular got really, really close to some of the girls from Portugal and it was so nice learning all the things we had in common despite growing up hundreds of miles under a sliver of sea apart. Um, and finding out how different everyone's aspirations were all within the same sort of industry. It was just, it was so lovely and so eye-opening.